the Gold Coast in Queensland, Australia, and we're heading into the Carrara Markets. It's uh, Father's Day weekend, and they've got a bit of a car show happening here. Some classic cars, some pretty special ones. So we're gonna go and check it out, see what it's like. Guys, you're here! I can't believe this! I knew you needed a crew chief, but I didn't know it was this bad. I thought you said you'd never come back. Well, I really didn't have a choice. Mater didn't get to say goodbye. Goodbye! So this is the cars here and they're all under cover and I just do a quick walk around of the cars here just to show you what type of cars there is. Uh, down the track if you follow my YouTube car channel you can find that at the bottom of Samus Surf Photography on my YouTube surfing page. This is only a very small car show. They basically put the cars on show for Father's Day weekend and it brings in a crowd to have a look at them and they do a bit of shopping at the markets whilst they're here makes a bit of more money for the people that have the market stalls you know they can bring their kids here you, you saw this, the Lightning McQueen and the Duck Hudson car um, that obviously was designed to bring in the dads and the kids for Father's Day and then they spend some money whilst they're here and unlike a lot of car shows uh, most of the cars here you know, about 95 96 percent of the cars here were very high quality um, instead of you know having more different types of cars here low quality whatever there's a couple of you like that but most of these ones are in very high quality very good condition and it was a really great show, car show to enter not very crowded which was very good compared to most car shows so I really got a good chance to film all these got to talk to a couple of the owners and really got to have a good look around these cars it, it was a great event if you follow my car YouTube channel you know that I do uh, a walk around of each car and a talk of each car I've done in the past and I'll be doing it with all these cars here I filmed each one individually so there'll be a film coming up in the future of all these cars individually just one car per video like I normally do so if you follow my channel or you want to subscribe follow that and that's what you'll get to see in the future with all these cars here some of the cars here were just classic this gray one coming up is the Holden Brogan I'm sure I pronounced that correctly I never get that right that was just gorgeous you don't see a lot of those the orange one there is a Mustang, we've got this Moroni one here, a Chevy Impala, next to that we've got an EH Ute, the yellow one in the back there is a Ford Galaxy, here we have a Chevrolet Biscayne, yellow one here is a 59 Chev and next to that is a 60s Cadillac, the green one coming up is a 42 Cadillac, I did a good walk around of that one, that thing is absolutely awesome, lovely looking car, the owner only bought that about three weeks ago. Here we have an SS Camaro, and beside that we've got a nice old Ford pickup. This yellow one here is a Bolwell Nagari. I've never actually seen one of these before, and this thing was just glorious. Here we have a Corvette, and going back up to this old Ford pickup again. This is quite a stylish car, this one. I really like this one. Very unusual. I had a good walk around this one as well, so there'll be a video coming up of that. Here we have a Mustang, back over to the Hudson Hornet there on the right, and we've got a red Ford Falcon there, I think that may be an American release one, I'm not sure if that was an Australian release one, but it was very nice again. The grey one here, we've got the RX-7, sort of one of the only modern ones there, the red maroon one here, another Mustang. This one here was an Austin, the two-tone one there. We've got another Ford Galaxy there. And coming up, this black one, I had a really good look around this one. This is a Pontiac Firebird, all black, all the chrome's been blacked out. This thing was just absolutely stunning. One of my favorite cars there. I had a good talk to the owner of this one, so there'll be a nice long video of this one coming up in the future. Uh, nice video footage of it. It was just such a glorious car. Probably one of the best cars at the show, if not the best at the show. It was just in absolute mint condition. Just flawless car. I absolutely love this one. Here I do a walk around of the cars, holding the camera up high, just for a different camera angle, a bit of a different perspective of the cars, just so you get to have another view of them. It's the first ever indoor car show that I've ever been to and it was actually quite enjoyable to walk around indoors. It wasn't too crowded when I first got there, by the end it was a little bit crowded. Just this top view really gives you a good perspective of the cars. I'm not a big fan of Mustangs, but this orange one with the white lines on it is a great looking car. Lovely white leather interior on it. 
Holden Brogan here, that was a glorious looking car, they've always been as rare as hen's teeth, you very rarely see any of those around nowadays and even 20 years ago you didn't see many of them around and it was in mint condition. Maroon car here is a Bentley and check out that. It's got P plates on it. There's a P plate driving a Bentley. What a lucky guy that is. The green one there, a Charger, very nice. This thing here was a Rolls Royce. It was stunning. I had a good walk around that. We got a Willys Jeep, six cylinder there. This black one here is a DeSoto. I've never actually heard of one of those. I had to actually research that one to see what the deal with it was. This one here, the gray one, is a Jensen Interceptor. It was absolutely stunning. I love that car. We've got the old Holden there, FX48215. Next to it is a HQ Premier. That's a 74 model. I used to actually own a 71 model of that. Beautiful car. The white one there is the iconic Lotus Spec Cortina. They were a very special car in their day. They absolutely hauled ass for the little tiny car they were. We've got the Alfa Romeo next to that. The wagon there. The van, I'm not too sure of what that one is actually. I've filmed it many, many a times. I, I think it's a Chevy. It's the Scooby-Doo one. It's at the Cooley Rocks one every single year. It's always a crowd pull. Everyone loves that one, and I can see why. The red one here is a 54 Ford Custom Line. The white one here is a 73 Mustang two-door convertible. The red one coming up is a Ford Mustang Mark I. Absolutely glorious old car. Very tough looking car, those ones. They were in their day. The next two cars, the blue one there and the cream one, are both Mercury Cougars. The black car in the corner there is a 69 Mustang with a 351. We've got a HQ Monaro there, absolutely glorious car. Chevrolet Impala there. You've got to love those Chevy Impalas. I wish we had more of those in Australia. I absolutely love one of those myself. Very tough looking car, just so much style to them. Here we have a couple of charges. The first one there is a 265, the second one is a 318. They were a very quick car in their day and those 265 straight sixes, they ate a lot of Holden V8s for breakfast, those ones. So coming to the end of the walk around here, as you can see it was only a relatively small car show, but some really top notch cars here, really good quality. Not that crowded, so it was a very enjoyable car show. And uh, here we come to the two real crowd pullers here that were pulling everybody in. The Hudson Horn, an absolutely glorious car. Apparently that one had an 8.2 litre V8 in it, I was told. Uh, and there's Lightning McQueen. you just got to love the Lightning McQueen car. Absolutely classic car. The eyes in both of the windscreens, absolutely glorious. Just beautiful cars. So there'll be a more detailed video of each car where I walk around each car individually and film each one individually on my classic car channel. You can find that at the bottom of my Samos Surf Photography page on YouTube. Scroll down the bottom there and you'll see it. Uh, there'll be a link in the comments if this is posted on my Samos Surf Photography page. So stay tuned for a walk around of each of these cars individually with a more in-depth look at them. If you made it this far, thanks for watching.